Today we're going to be taking a look at the newest replica from the wand company, the Luxury Ball. The Luxury Ball is a beautiful, beautiful new addition to the wand company's Pokeball replicas, and I'm super excited to take a look at this one with you guys today. Alright guys, so here we go. The Luxury Ball is, in my opinion, like the nicest one that they've released yet. The Master Ball is really cool because it, it was a little more exclusive. Uh, it was a limited number of runs. But from what I have seen, the Luxury Ball is like, is one of the nicer looking ones. And that, for obvious reasons, I mean, the Luxury Ball is just super nice to begin with anyway, right? It's the Luxury Ball. So we're going to pop this open just like all the rest that I've done. It's going to be pretty straightforward on the top. We've got the little booklet that will tell you all you need to know about the ball and the base and all that good stuff. So we'll leave that over here. Again, I've said it before, guys, do not throw this. Unless you wanna break it. Uh, <laughs> there's there's always that possibility, you know? You throw it, it's probably gonna break uh, if you throw it at like concrete and stuff, I guess. But I think what they're saying is don't throw it at your pets, your dog, your cat, you know, stuff like that. So here we go with the nice styrofoam. Got the little Pokeball engraved into it. Love to see it. We pop this open and we are presented with the base, which I'll take this out here. So here we have the base. I'll go ahead and pull the tab out right away so it'll start doing its light up shenanigans. You got the serial number that matches your ball. So this is very cool. I think I showed the last time inside here is like that little silver ring that you can then put on top of here to put the ball on there. Um, it's pretty cool. I don't use it for all of mine. Usually what I do is I'll just put mine right in the stand, which you can see is lighting up right now. So it's, it's waiting for the ball itself. So I'm actually super excited about this. I saw this when I was at NAIC. There was like a little case set up that had like future Pokemon Center products in it, and this was one of them. So this is very, very exciting. Look at how shiny this thing is. Holy smokes, that's a lot of gloss. I'm slowly taking it out of here because I know the second I put my hand on it, this thing is going to be absolutely covered in fingerprints. That is gorgeous. Holy so let's get this little tab out of the way and it can start doing its light up shenanigans. But look at that, guys. You can see <laughs> you can see the the camera in there. You can see my overhead light. Look at all that. The gold is this thing is very very nice. You can see me in the, Look at that. <laughs> Hi. That is so cool. I don't really know what else to say other than this thing is gorgeous. So let's go ahead and light it up. There we go. So it's lighting up just like all the other ones. There's going to be nothing different about this one than the other ones I've showed you guys other than its finish. Uh, just wanted you to get a nice 4K look at what this thing looks like in person. So the band itself, for anybody that's wondering, the band and this up here feel like they are plastic, but it's it's like a pretty nice plastic, I guess. And this is really cool because the front button does appear to be gold, but it's uh, transparent gold. So the light shines through on there. That is very cool. You see, it looks, it looks gold right there. And then we turn it on and it is not. So that is very, very cool super nice so that is that and this is what it'll look like in its little case so that is super sweet um yeah not not much else to say about it other than uh it's basically the same same thing so it's non-functional it doesn't open it doesn't make sounds any of that cool stuff uh this is mostly just for like if, if you like having yours like mine, where you just literally have them displayed as just a nice high quality replica of sorts, 
then this is for you, but it has very limited functionality. The base and the, uh, and the ball do change colors and stuff, so, I mean, that's pretty cool, but, uh, yeah, this is, this is mostly gonna be for looks, like a little collector's piece. Um, yeah, so this will make a great, great addition to the collection. I'm, like, out of room up there on the shelf, so I'm not exactly sure where the luxury ball is gonna find its way in my collection, but, uh, it'll make its way there one way or another, so... That's that. That's gonna do it for today's unboxing of the Wand Company replica of the Luxury Ball. Just a short video today. I know this is pretty much similar to the other Wand Company replica videos that I've done, but I figured the Luxury Ball was worthy of its own showcase. If you're like me and you're a collector of the Wand Company replicas, let me know down in the comments if you plan to add the Luxury Ball to your collection. And as always, guys, if you like the video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate your support. But we've got a lot more content coming in the pipeline, guys, so stay tuned for that. And until the next one, keep being awesome, and we'll see you then. Peace.